Now, days after Hurricane Florence, much of coastal North Carolina is still underwater. The death toll stands at 41. Power outages and road closures continue to hamper efforts by the National Guard. Meanwhile, residents continue to wait in lines for hours for essential supplies, including food and water. And this affected, of course, South Carolina, North Carolina big time, and of course, Virginia. Yesterday, President Trump vowed federal assistance, calling Florence one of the most devastating storms to ever hit the United States. And 10 on your side's Jason Mark spent all week in some of the hardest hit areas helping out our sister station, WCN. So, Jason, the recovery has started in some places, but others, they are still waiting for the water to go down. You just saw the video. Yeah. There was water everywhere, and I can tell you, everywhere we went, we went into a road that was covered, a street. I mean, the water in most of Eastern North Carolina has started to go down, but for some, it can't go down fast enough. I'm just hoping my house is there. For several days, no matter where you went in Eastern North Carolina, it wasn't hard to find streets covered with water. All the roads are completely closed. Florence battered the North Carolina coast. The storm surge and rain filled rivers, which then flowed into neighborhoods. I think it's a total low. The water destroyed Billy Sanderson's home. It's the second time in 20 years he now has to rebuild. In 1999, Floyd devastated the area. He says Florence is even worse. It's just hard to explain. You don't know what it says, if it's going to have to start over. All we can do. Six people were killed in Duplin County alone. They tried to drive through fast moving water. It's unbelievable. I think I'm still in shock that this has happened. By boat is the only way to go through the small town of Pollocksville. We had no idea that it was going to get this devastating and this, this deep. The nearby Trent River ruined homes and destroyed businesses. Right now, there's no end to the long road to recovery. How long will it take us to recover? I just don't know. I, I don't know. And the big fear in small communities like that is that they're not going to get the help that they need. Right. Obviously, they're working with FEMA, other organizations to make sure that that is, is possible. But they don't get the help like the, the bigger organize, the bigger yeah. communities, so Virginia Beach, Norfolk. You know, they have the resources. So the small communities are really hoping that they're not forgotten. Mm. And we hope they weren't. Absolutely. So, so, Jason, what surprised you most about what you saw on this trip? Well, we mentioned it. You saw some of the water there on some of the roads. Every We try to go certain places, and you're looking at some of the video here. They sent us, we were outside of Greensville, and they sent us to different locations. And whenever we tried, now these, now these locations from Greensville, we're talking about 45 minutes, 30 mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. Everywhere we went, we hit a roadblock, meaning we, impassable roads. And you saw people there uh, lined up with boats going out, looking, trying to check their homes. I mean, it was just amazing to see that. But it, you just could not get anywhere for several days. Fortunately, most of the water has receded. Um, but there's still areas where you just can't get to yet. People still don't know about their homes. And I remember in one of your reports, you said the old benchmark was Floyd in 99. The new benchmark now will be. OK, so let's look at this real fast. Here in Hampton Roads, what's the benchmark? Isabel, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you, people will say Matthew. Matthew, mm -hmm. we heard some of that. Well, if you go further uh, back, way if back. You, if, yeah. you live, if you live in Franklin, of course, you're going to say Floyd yeah. because they had the terrible flooding, the first one. And, 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 but when you talk to everyone in Northeast North Carolina in that area, they say Floyd was the worst, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. did the most damage, had the most flooding. Obviously, we now know that Floyd will no longer be talked about 20 years from now. It's going to be Florence. All right. Thank you, Jason. All right. And of course, you just saw how great the need is in North Carolina. So Wavy TV 10 and Fox 43 is partnering with several local organizations to bring relief to hurricane victims devastated by Florence. Join us tomorrow as 10 on your side collects donations for our southern neighbors. Uh, Tom and I will actually be at the Pembroke Mall in Virginia Beach tomorrow. And then we'll have another team there on Saturday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. You can drop off personal hygiene products such as shampoo, soap, toothpaste, and deodorant. We are also collecting baby essentials, diapers, wipes, bottles, and formula. Together, we can make a difference.